If you're considering buying a plasma cutter, it's probably because you're doing metal fab or working on a car and you want a really easy way to cut different types of metal. Plus, you have nice clean cuts whether the metal is thick, thin, or even rusty. A plasma cutter can slice through any conductive metal like steel, aluminum, or stainless. Another advantage of a plasma cutter is that there's no more need for gas bottles like you have with an oxyacetylene torch. Now let's go over the plasma cutters available at Eastwood and help you find the one that best fits your needs. The first thing you'll want to know is how thick a metal it will cut, then voltage needed to run it, the air compressor requirements, and finally a few other things like the style of consumables, duty cycle, and warranty. Make sure you get a good warranty because if the company doesn't have confidence in the unit, why should you? All three of these VersaCut plasma cutters come with a three-year warranty so you know Eastwood has confidence in them. The three plasma cutters we're looking at today are the VersaCut 20, VersaCut 40, and the powerful VersaCut 60. The VersaCut 20 will cut through metal up to 1 8 and where it really does a great job is with sheet metal because it's nice for making thin, fine, precision cuts. So if you don't need to cut thicker metal and you're just looking for a great way to cut sheet metal, you want the VersaCut 20. Because it's so good at cutting thin sheet metal, it's also great for making decorations for around the house or crafts for the holidays. Next up is the VersaCut 40, which will cut through metal up to 3 8 making it a very good machine for most general metal fab or auto restoration where there usually isn't metal thicker than 3 8 Now the VersaCut 60. This is the unit I recommend because it can cut up to 7 8 and many people have used it to cut even thicker metal than that. It may not be often you need to cut metal that thick, but it's nice to know you can. Now let's see what it takes to power these machines. The VersaCut 20 uses 120 volts. The VersaCut 40 operates on either 120 or 240 with a supplied adapter cord. On 120 volts, it will cut through 3 16 Being able to operate on both 120 and 240 is nice because the unit is light enough to take anywhere, so you may be working in a shop that doesn't have 240, but you can still use the machine. Finally, the VersaCut 60 operates on 240 volts. You don't need a huge compressor to operate any of these units. In fact, for the VersaCut 20, you only need 3 CFM at 30 PSI, so you can run it on a small compressor. The VersaCut 40 and 60 both only need 5 to 7 CFM at 60 PSI, so you still don't need a huge compressor to cut metal. All three units use Trafima torches with common consumables, so you can get your supplies at Eastwood or most places that offer welding and plasma cutting supplies. All three units have long 10-foot ground cables and even longer 20-foot torch cables, which are nice because you can move around a project like a car without having to carry the unit around with you. All the units are very light and portable, with the two larger units weighing about 45 pounds and the VersaCut 20 coming in at only 20 pounds. Let's go over the duty cycle for each, which is basically the amount of time each machine can operate before needing to cool down. The duty cycle for the VersaCut 20 is 40% at 15 amps and the VersaCut 40 is 60% at the full 40 amps, and the VersaCut 60 is 60% at the full 60 amps. Those duty cycles are plenty to keep you cutting on most projects. Hold a pencil and imagine cutting for six minutes straight like the duty cycle on the VersaCut 40 or 60. All three have an instant pilot arc system, which allows for instant arc striking on clean or rusty metal. Each unit also has a last chance moisture separator to protect the machine. I hope this helped you make a decision on which unit is best for you. Again, I recommend the VersaCut 60 because it can cut up to 7 8 thick metal, which you may not need to do often, but it's great when you do need to do it. For most work, the VersaCut 40 is a great machine and will get the job done cutting metal up to 3 8 Plus, you can plug it into 120 or 240 volts. If you're just looking to cut thin metal or you want to make fine cuts in sheet metal, the VersaCut 20 is the plasma cutter for you. For more information on any of these units or to get yours today, you can click or tap the button in the top corner of this video or follow the link that appears on the screen.